Welcome everyone watching to Kurt Huggabee Field on the campus of Arkansas State University in Jonesboro, Arkansas. We've got a cold and windy match for you today between the Lindenwood Golden Lions, ranked number three in the country, and the Arkansas State Red Wolves, ranked number nine. It's a top ten clash in the Mid-South. Alex, it's about... It's sitting at uh, oh, 26 degrees according to my phone. Feels colder than that. How, how is that going to affect the game today? Uh, you know, with the ones in the cold weather, you can really expect guys' hands to get kind of dry. Um, I expect to see a couple slip passes through the hands, uh, maybe some missed releases. Uh, really going to look for the guys to kind of hold on to the ball if they're looking to succeed today. Now, Lindenwood has had a couple matches. They went down to Texas a couple weeks ago. and. Uh, had a had a pretty tightly contested game with Texas A&M mm. and then Thrash Texas. How is uh how's getting some game experience, um, you know, this early in the season? How's that going to affect them and uh, how how's that going to play off Arkansas State just opening their season? Well, you know, Arkansas State they haven't had any matches this spring, so this is going to be their first outing. Uh, you know, and especially like I said before, in weather like this, they're really going to have to string some plays together and get that. Uh, get that team gel, that team chemistry going early because Lindenwood, if they've got a couple matches under their belts already, uh, you know, they'll probably come out a little bit hotter, maybe a little bit more composed, um, you know, probably a little bit more organized. So ASU is really going to have to come out of the gate strong and maintain that throughout the match. Blake White enters his second full season as the, as the uh, Red Wolves head coach. Um, what have you... Uh, you played with him and with me on the uh, Jonesboro Chiefs team for, uh -huh. for a while. Yeah. Um, uh, what is what is his uh, if you know what is his coaching style in, in approaching a game like this? Uh, you know, as a player, uh, you know when we all played together on that team, there he was uh, played ten. You know, he's a kind of a natural leader, natural captain, uh, really good at motivating people, bringing out the best in his players. Um, and you know, and you'll see on the starting lineup, we do have a lot of freshman players. So he's not shy to let people get get some experience and get some shots if they're proving themselves through practice. And from what I understand, a lot of the younger guys have been stepping up. And so we'll see what they can do for the for the Red Wolves today. Um, you know, he's a he's a kind of guy he coaches through the week. Come match day, he is on the sideline and he lets the boys play out the the game plan. So uh, you won't hear a lot of talking from Blake on the sideline. He kind of makes some notes, talks to the boys at halftime, makes some adjustments, and then lets them go out and do their thing. Uh, you know, his coaching style really he he believes it's his job to prepare the guys. Uh, you know, kind of develop their decision making skills, uh, and then you know lets them see what they can do with themselves. Speaking of that, uh, letting people, letting uh, the freshmen get shots, we had 30 freshmen on the Arkansas State team this year. Um, there are there are a few starters, uh, especially in some key positions. Uh, let's go ahead and run through the starting lineup for both teams. First, for Lindenwood, we have starting at number one, we have Alec McDonald. Uh, hooker is Stephen McLeish. The other uh, other prop is Joe Stewart. The locks are Marcus Spangenberg and Wesley Parker. At flanker, we have Michael Duvall and Aiden Hurst. Eight-man, Wesley White. At scrum half, we have Richard Felton. And at fly half is Andres Levardis. Fourteen is Christian Rodriguez. The, <clears throat> excuse me, the centers, 12, Connor Burns. 13, Annie Mateo. And the 11 is Sam Chapman with fullback Evan Williams. For Arkansas State, uh, at prop, we have Timmy O'Line and Tanner Pope. Hooker is Patrick Marr. Uh, excuse me. Locks, Asa Carter and Dante Bandoni. Flankers, we have Pedro Alvarez and Isaiah Poku. Eight man is Jake Ray. Scrum half, Keegan Barrett. Fly half, Dylan Boast. At the wings, we have Calvin Gentry and John Scotty. And in the centers, we have Masvida, Nia Amnerevu, and Zach Young. At 15, we have Val Balande. So we are just set to kick off. Lindenwood will be receiving. <coughs> Dylan Boast with the black scrum cap and the long hair flowing out the back of it. Set to kick off. And we are underway. First match of the 2019 Red Wolf season. It's going to be outside center there with the recovery of by Lindenwood. Going to kick to Val Balande. Balande back to Jake Gray. Gets a boast. B bit of a mishandle there. Boast looking ahead, puts a kick through, but that is going to be covered by the 15, Evan Williams, who pops it up. Val, high ball, takes it, loses his man, loses Evan Williams. Nice little step there, creating some space so he can get a little bit room. Tackled by a host of back. Lions. Keegan Barrett now setting it up. Keegan, 
can't see, can't quite see the number there. I believe that was Timmy O'Line. Kicking in, recycles out to uh, to Niamana Revu. Tanner Pope. Now Tanner's dangerous on the wing if he gets ahead of steam. Takes three lines, take him down. It's a good game there. Oh, picked oh, up quickly by Calvin. Calvin Gentry, a local Memphis product. Ball was knocked on, looked like by Lindenwood. Arkansas State recycles. Working it through the back now. Asa Carter, big run. Carrying carrying lines with him. Yeah, Asa's a very strong runner. Back to Bose. Now we get it to go. Uh, Niamander Revu loses a man. Yes, loses beat, beat. another. Look at that, he's gonna be gone. No one's catching him. There you go, BP. Nia Amnarevu for the first try of the 2019 Arkansas State rugby season. Try time for Beefy. Yeah, I shed two tackles there. Just a hard runner, really knows how to make guys miss. He's been an awesome addition to the A-State team this year. Now, if at home, if you're wondering, Nia Amnarevu is not an easy name for us commentators <laughs> to say. And it's not an easy name for his teammates to say. So he goes by the nickname Beefy. So if you refer to as somebody named Beefy, it's not what we're gonna have for lunch. It is... No, it's, that guy's going to eat your lunch. That's BP <laughs> right there. Bose now will set up set up for the conversion. And if you're any... If you're accustomed to Jonesboro rugby, you do know that trains are a big part. <laughs> Score's going to be 5-7 right now, A-State. And with the conversion, it should be 7 nothing. 7 nothing, Arkansas State. So, about as good as of a first possession as Arkansas State could hope for. A lot of, a lot of guys getting uh, the ball in their hands, a lot of guys getting their first pop. Um, now, in rugby, if you're not accustomed to it, the team that scores actually gets the ball back. So, Lennon one will be kicking off. That is Andres Livardis, knee kicks, and oh, that's going to be gathered be by, taken Pedro. by Pedro. Yeah, look at him go. Oh, a oh, bit of been unlucky there. There's that, that is that handling we've been talking about in that cold weather. It's easy to lose that ball. Richard Felton, now swing it out. Big hit there. Nice tackle. Can't quite see the number. That was Patrick Marr. That's Izzy. Izzy's getting in there, making that first contact, wrapping up at the legs. Lindenwood recycles. Now they're going to get to go to the backs. Asa lays a big hit, but doesn't quite get his arms on. Lindenwood back on it. A little pop kick over yeah, by Lavardis. Calvin knocked backwards. That's okay. Now Val Blonde makes a guy miss. There we go. There's two. He's got he's got some room Let's now. Looking for the offload. He's got that support there. Mm. Arkansas State covers we'll nicely. Take the gain. Take the gain. Keegan box kick over the top. It's number 13. Zach on the Zach tackle. Young, yeah. nice. Asa right there to cover it up too. <laughs> Zach Young was actually a first team All American selection last year. Lindenwood goes for the kick through. Blonde to Scotty. If they can get it out here, they've got the numbers. Scotty, not afraid to take on a couple men. Covered nicely there by Poku. Beefy, nice little pop kick through. Lindenwood though gets it and returns, and there is a penalty. Let's see what the see what the official says. It is going to be a not, not rolling, rolling away. away. Like, so yeah. Arkansas State will decide what to do next. For some of you new viewers, when you tackle an, an offensive player as a defender, you must wrap up, take them all the way to the ground, and as soon as the tackle is made, you have to release and let both teams compete for the ball. You have to keep that area clean and competitive. And looks like Arkansas State is going to go for the points early. Now the wind is blowing for your viewers at home uh, straight into our faces. Left uh, to right a little bit. Left to right, and uh, this is about a little over 50 meters, I believe. No, right at 50 meters. Yeah, it's looking like it's going to be right around 48, maybe 49 meters. It's just across that midline. Now, now, Maz or. Niamana Revu is one of the freshmen we talked about earlier. They're actually going to let him take a crack at this. I wouldn't be surprised if he slots this. Look at those thighs. <laughs> Guy could probably kick it a mile. Crowd gets silent. Beefy lines it up. 
Kicking in rugby is a, little, a lot like kicking a field goal in football, but the approach is a bit different. Here's the kick. Mm. Oh, it did not get a hold of it. And didn't now the, strike that well. And now the ball is live. Lindenwood recovers. Can't quite see the number there on the far side. We don't have, it's hard to see without a monitor. But Lindenwood chooses to kick and go for space. Yeah, really just looking to get field position there when you're kind of tied up in your own territory. It's a good idea to Blonde, get it out. Blonde misjudged it. Arkansas State. Lindenwood makes a nice tackle. Arkansas State recovers. Keegan to Scotty to Niamh Revu, who takes on that. two men. Nice power gets, run. Breaks through, breaks the line. Pedro Alvarez now. Pedro was selected to All-American camp. Arkansas Barrett. State out there Back calling for the ball out. Boast well. makes a man miss, there uses a nasty fend, runs over another. And Arkansas State's there away again. Picks it up, Tanner Pope. That is Tanner Pope. Yeah, absolutely. But there's no support with Ooh, him. Nobody there ball to cover the rock. That's right. Bit of a, it's a bit of a madhouse there now. Mm -hmm. But Arkansas State retained. Barrett to O-line. There goes Calvin. To Calvin Gentry. Calvin Gentry. Calvin. You want to talk about a hard runner. That's Calvin. Drags three guys with him. Now, if Arkansas State can get it out quick, they I believe they have an advantage on this side. Ooh. Oh, un unlucky knock there by Bandoni. And we'll have our first scrum of the game. <laughs> Unfortunate knock by Bandoni there. They did have the momentum headed out wide, but like we mentioned before the game, this cold can really affect your handling. So, Alex, take me through, whenever you were playing, take me through what's going through his player's head during a cold game like this. Oh, man. You know, when if, I'm, if I'm not in action at the moment, we're sitting here waiting for a scrum to start. I'm bouncing around a little bit, maybe trying to warm up my hands, put them in my waist, in my waistline there, just trying to keep them warm so when you're ready, you know, you got to be ready when the ball's coming. And we did have a, a, a Lindenwood player down. Looks like he's stretching out his... his uh, his hamstrings or his calves, that was uh, Ani Mateo. Yeah, I expect to see a lot of that today, actually, again, with this weather. Sub-freezing degrees, what is it, 28? I've got 26, according 26 to 26 degrees. Guys are going to be getting up slow all day. Up and wait situation now, but now it looks like the referee is given the given the command, gives a crouch, a bind, set, ball goes in from Felton at the back, and Lindenwood is away. That was a good scrum for Lindenwood. Nice, there was a nice uh, nice run there. I believe that was the I believe that was their ten. Uh, Lavardis, who runs over his opposite number. Lindenwood now on the attack. Got a little bit of momentum. They haven't they haven't, they haven't retained the ball very well. Um, I don't think they've broken the broken the halfway point. And there's a tackler not releasing. Yep. Again, as I explained earlier, when you tackle somebody to the ground, you have to let go and roll away. Looks like the defender didn't quite let go. Yeah, it's very different in, in, in football. You you know you make a tackle, and the play stops and everybody resets. But in rugby, it, it's it's a continuous, fluid game. That's right. That's right, Denton. And in rugby, actually, you do have to control the offensive player all the way to the ground. So if I'm just running up to you and I drop my shoulder, knock you over, and you're able to get up and keep running, that's totally fine, perfectly legal, and play continues. So got to be a lot more technical. Off um, the penalty, Lindenwood. Off the penalty, Lindenwood chose to kick for a line out, and it'll be the first line out attempt at the game. Ball goes up, and Lindenwood possesses, and they set up a, a set up a mall. Yep. Hey, State's gonna have to really put their heels in the ground here and stop this mall. Felton gets it out. Not sure what number that is. They've got some numbers. Let's see if John Scotty can recover. That is the 14. Back to Evan Williams. Val. Yes. 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 Mm. Ball was knocked backwards, and let's see if that was an. Going to be knocked on by a, John Scotty. It, it looked like, like. It was a, a penalty. See what the sir calls. Andre Lavardis decides to set up for the kick, and they will set up another mall. Line out here. Kicks into touch for line out. 
So it didn't look like that was an intentional slap down, but had it been, what is you know what is what is the process of a? Uh, of a you slap know, down? it's it's really the judgment of the referee, the sir. If he uh, believes that you're doing it intentionally and you're not really looking to catch it or possess it, um, you know, he may give you a yellow card depending on how many how often you do it. Is that up the second mo second the second line out now? Big leash up on oh, the ball goes over. Retained by Arkansas State, and that's Isaiah Poku. Just trying to get some space now. Let's see if Arkansas State will choose to keep the ball in hand or um, go for the kick. Dante Vandoni with the run. Looks like Bose is setting up deep to, to receive for a kick. Doesn't look like he's going to get it. A knock. Let's see. I believe it was a knock by Arkansas State. So we will come back for about a five meter scrum. I think that's a. Yeah. No, I believe it's a knock on LU for a state. A state's gonna have this put in here. So, Barrett will put in the first Arkansas State scrum. Now, as far as pack size, who do you believe has the advantage, just just based on the You know, just looking at it right now, it looks like LU's got a heavier pack, but that doesn't necessarily mean they're stronger. You know, we've got guys who've really been hitting the weight room in the offseason, uh, as well as over the summer. I know Isaiah Poku came back, had to put on 10 pounds, man. Guy's looking big. Oh. Asa Card is obviously strong as well, so we'll just have to see who can generate more power. Here's the crouch call. Bind. Set and the ball goes in. That's looking like a fairly even contested scrum there. A State held their own. John Scotty now runs through runs through three lines. Takes three of them to bring him down. Barrett sets it up. Uh, and uh, looks like not, not rolling, rolling away. away. Yep. And you can see when he's getting up. Uh, not sure who that's. Uh, Lavardis made the tackle there, but he was trapped between two Red Wolves. Right. Yeah, you know, and sometimes your leg gets stuck in there, and if you can't get out, that's just the way the cards fall. Mas, Masvita Niamana Revu puts the ball out. Right on, right. Beefy may be easier to say. <laughs> Beefy may be easier to say. Yeah, maybe you can stick <laughs> with that. We don't know. <laughs> and uh, Patrick Marr will put the first line out. Still 7 nothing ASU. After that first, uh, the first, first possession there by Arkansas State, they're not really been anything going. Mar puts the ball up, mm. over over the top, and retained by Lindenwood. <laughs> That's their number two, Stephen McLeish. Yeah, that ball just kind of hung up there a little too long, wasn't able to get brought in by State, and now they're going to have to play some good defense here. A bit of confusion there from the Arkansas State counter rucker. Lindenwood, they have a lot of guys around that ruck, and not. It looks like their back line is set up to the right, but forward-wise, they're all kind of together. Arkansas State's doing a good job of not letting him gain any any meters. Now it goes out the back. Yeah, A-State's definitely been meeting them behind the gain line fairly consistently there Artists for a few phases. Potato, uh, let's see what the call is. That's going to be into the side, I believe. Uh -huh. So Lindenwood, let's see what they chose. Choose, excuse me, choose to do. Will they? Looks like he's looks like he's gonna go for points. Mm -hmm. So Waiting we have on the Lindenwood's first attempt at points. Now, Lindenwood, when they get the ball, they're I don't know if the Colts affecting him, but they're they're choosing to go, you know, a lot of short balls, a lot of quick, uh, kind of piston-like mm -hmm. attack. Um, Arkansas State's not afraid to get it out the back, but we're just having we're having <laughs> trouble retaining possession. Um, yeah. Yeah, you know, Lindenwood, they're a very physical team. They may be looking to wear down a state. Um, this may be something that they play out for a couple minutes, get the Red Wolves kind of sucked into those scrums, and then try and spread it out wide. Um, but as I've said, historically, LSU, or I'm sorry, LU is a very physical team, so they may just want to maybe test in the waters, trying to see what kind of uh, grit these Red Wolves have. Here's the kick attempt by Evan Williams, and kick is good. So with that, with that, uh, with that three-pointer, Lennon Wood trails Arkansas State seven to three. I should have started a stopwatch when we got this game going. Yeah. I'd say we're about 10 minutes in, 10, 15 minutes in or so. Arkansas State now will kick off to Lennon Wood, boast. 
Now, just looking at the looking at the Lindenwood team, they they do look like they are maybe heavier and maybe not quite as fast, but uh, they do have some speed on their wings. That's true. That was that kick was taken by Connor Burns, who puts it into touch. Mm. There is a penalty. No, I believe it. Uh Looks like he caught it outside of the 20-meter line, took it back into that zone, and uh, and then kicked it out of bounds on the uh, out, uh, into touch on the fly. Excuse me. Uh, so what happens is, is if you kick the ball out of bounds on the fly in rugby, the line out occurs where you kicked the ball that didn't fall inside of the touch line there before going out of bounds. And that's good for Arkansas State because it get, makes them uh, gives them an extremely extremely short field to work with. Yeah, definitely a favorable position that here on the field. That was Poku. There goes Out Calvin. To Calvin Gentry. Calvin runs through a couple. I'd be surprised if I see a one-on-one -on -one tackle against Calvin today. Asa Carter now with the ball. He's a big physical runner, but he was stood up there on that tackle. Yeah. Baird out the back, boast, skips a man. Nice, there's the wide Big skip ball. to Calvin, oh. but he goes into Steps touch, into touch unfortunate. <laughs> I believe. Do you see what happened? Looks like we have a scrum down to Lindenwood. So put in for the Lions. There's the bind. Doesn't look like it was a clean bind there. Sir is going to give him some pointers. Officials are always, always happy to give scrum pointers, no matter what, what game or where we're at. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. Um, you know, I've noticed in in rugby that the sirs do really work to make sure that your fundamentals are there, uh, rather than just penalize you. They'll give you a couple chances to get it right, but if it does become a continued issue, uh, you probably will get dinged. Ball comes out the back now. Lavardis throws a switch ball Ooh. to Connor Burns, and that was a big. Big physical. That was a hard run. Run there by Burns. Yeah. Lindo now chooses, chooses to kick for kick right. for field position. Calvin picks let's it up it, and let's see what Gentry can do now. Gentry goes for the kick back. Big boot. Red Wolves need to get on defense here. They are a little scattered. Lindo would now make up the break. Solid tackle. Nice there. tackle there. Bandoni. Bandoni on on the eight man, I believe. Uh, Bandoni on the eight man. Wesley White. I believe Mandoni's got a five today, five on his back. Usually the the uh, the taller guys on the team wear the wear the lock numbers. That's true. But uh, looks like I didn't see what the penalty was. Maybe not rolling away. And Lindenwood will go for points again. So really trying to cut into this deficit. A State's gonna have to clean it up inside their own four, 20, 40 meters or so. After that initial possession by Arkansas State, the Red Wolves haven't got to, haven't gotten anything going. Uh, either sloppy balls or you know just uh, handling errors, things like that. Yeah, um, you know, like we said, we kind of spoke to the uh, the youngness of this team. A little green, very explosive. I mean, can really break some big runs and some string some good passes together. But uh, it's that uh, composure. Got to learn, learn yeah, some composure. I, I went to uh, to practice on Wednesday, and that's one thing that, that Captain Pedro Alvarez really spoke to is everybody needed to be composed and, you know, play together as a team, not try to do anything by themselves. That's right. Kick is up by Evan Williams, and it's good. Yep. <coughs> it's going to make it 7-6 ASU with the lead. 7-6. 7-6 ASU still with the advantage. Yeah, and when you're playing a team like Lindenwood, it's not a very big advantage. So we're gonna have to see what uh, see what the boys can make happen here in the probably the last quarter of the first half, I would say. We knew it was gonna be a close game, 
I did expect to see a little more points thus far up to this point, but we'll see what happens in the, the rest of this first half. Connor Burns again gets it, puts a high ball in the air. Oh, this is going to be a close one. Belande takes it, and he is hit hard by Connor Burns. Yeah, that's about the best you could do there. You get that in, you can maintain that possession, come back at him on offense. Barrett to Boast. To Boast Beefy. Gets it out to Beefy. Look Beefy, at Beefy splits a couple defenders. Quickly oh, over him. Nice clear there, but just young. unfortunately that ball bounces out. Picked Linwood up by now on a roll. Yeah. He's, can't quite see the number, but he ran through a couple Red Wolves. A back out. Linwood has numbers. If they can drag this guy out. Tackle by Scotty. Not quite. Nice attempt. Looks like someone well, was looks diving like off his over. Feet, that it's, it's number six, Pedro Alvarez. I didn't see that, but you know the sir, the sir has a better vantage point than, than I do. And Lavardis will put it out. Sometimes on those bang bang plays, when it's close like that, safest bet is to call it, get everything kind of organized again. Got a at home can enjoy the train going by while we set up this line out. ASU's done pretty well at their goal line stands. It's getting close here. Stephen McLeish with the ball up. Keep up the intensity. Ball goes up and Lindenwood will set up their mall. ASU really has to drive here. Ball is at the back so the serve will ask them to use it. Ball comes out the back. Lavardis could have been a pad to Evan Williams. Besides taking it on himself. Lindenwood is very physical in the rucking. But it looks like the ball was stolen there by Arkansas State. That's Calvin. Oh, that's a good turnover. Calvin Gentry. Oh, oh but off his feet Another again is the call. Over. Again, in these rucks, you have to be able to stand on your own two feet, your own weight. You can't be using anybody on the ground to prop you up. And it looks like the sir is going to go ahead and call that again. And Lindenwood, instead of going for points, has chosen to go with a scrum this time. Yeah, it's getting down to the final couple minutes of this first half, and they're really going to need to score if they want to keep ASU at bay. I think they understand that Red Bulls can easily open it up any time, so they're going to try and get this while they can. Again, 7-6, to six, Arkansas State with the advantage. Lindenwood has not been able to get anything going inside the 20 in the Arkansas State 22. They've got a chance with this scrum. Ball goes in. Felton to Levardis. Swings at Devin Williams who smet hard. Is that Zach Young? Met hard by Zach Young, the All-American. Arkansas State. That read that really well. Read that really well. Not sure what the call Believe is here. Believe is not rolling away is the call. Let's see with Lincoln oh, Wood. No, it looks like he's wanting, yeah, same thing. I think he said left their feet again. Now Arkansas State has to be careful. If the same the same person is off his feet several times in a row, the official will go ahead and pull out a yellow card instead of just giving him a warning. Yeah, like I mentioned earlier, it's all about those repeated infractions. Sirs in rugby, they'll let you know what you're doing wrong a couple times, but if it becomes a problem, they'll take care of it. McLeish, for his, I believe his fourth line-out throw in. Sir steps in, gives him, gives him some, some separation pointers. Ball is up, goes in. Lindenwood sets up their mall. Arkansas State driving it backwards. Driving this ball backwards, separates from the mall. Oh, oh. there we go. Good call by Barrett the line drew. judge. Great now, call by the line judge. Foot. Keegan, it, Keegan, it looked like took a knee, mm -hmm. but he was able to do just enough to drive him out. Yep. It looked like it was going to be clear, but they just got him out close enough to that touch line. And that's definitely a size advantage that Lindenwood will try to expose their eight Wesley White on Keegan. Keegan solid for a nine, but he he's going to be hard pressed to, to bring down a guy of, of white size. Yeah. Patrick Marr now for Arkansas State's line out. Let's see if they choose to keep ball in hand or if they'll go ahead and <clears throat> alleviate some pressure, get some distance. Ball is up. Jake Ray, nice take. Arkansas State sets up. And they're driving. There we go. Look at this. Wow. Mall. Arkansas State getting lots of meters. 
like I said earlier, we've got some definitely got some strong players. Mole attaches and for that full oh, pack. Off of off of John Scotty's looks like it hit him in the head. Keegan just setting it up. Felton to Burns. Wow, that wind is playing a big factor on the ball. Big hit there by Calvin Gentry. Lindenwood retains possession. They're on the far side of the field. Felton again to McLeish. Lindenwood trying to recycle, trying to use the ball, trying to get as much of this as possible. Have a couple dummy runners running He's got a good stand going here. Lavardis swings it out to Evan Williams. There you Evan go. There you Williams go. takes a big shot. Good John Scotty cuts a man down, doesn't put his arms up. He, he can run forwards a little bit more. Sometimes when you got a guy that big, that's all you can do. You just Lavardis hope he's got to support. Lavardis, you, sorry, that's Keep Michael Duvall. The it's, oh, and the ball squirts ball. out the back. And Arkansas State just decides to get it out to reset. Now, Evan Williams took a big shot by Tanner Pope, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just. Pedro Alvarez just got a little bit of a cheap shot to the face from LU7. I guess I wouldn't say cheap. They're Definitely well a enough. strong shot. Pedro got up talking. That's fun. You like to see that. Now, Pedro's moved around a little bit in his career. Um, when you played, he, I believe he was with the, with the backs. Wasn't yeah, he? he did start out in the backs. Um, you know, when you when you think about a leader and captain, obviously, Pedro Alvarez, you want someone who's willing to do whatever's asked of them. And Pedro's really done that. He's moved around the field. He's worked his way into the pack, and he really does lead from the front. Arkansas State puts the ball in. Barrett to Scotty. Scotty gets a couple meters. Cleared out nicely there by Arkansas State. Barrett swinging to Pedro like we were talking. He's got Vandonia in support there for the ruck. Barrett going to the right now. Good Patrick line. Marr. LU's doing a good job of not letting up too much. Tanner Pope. Meters here. <laughs> Takes four Lions to bring him down. Arkansas State's over quickly. <laughs> Looks like Arkansas State will set up for the kick. Dylan Bose will just oh, put it out, clear. but that ball's gonna stay in. No, that's a good, ooh. Taken there by Evan Williams. Williams. Yes, the yes, Chapman. look at that hit. <coughs> Beefy's gonna pick it up, he's going. Masvida. Niamana Rebu for his second try. Such a well-timed hit by Calvin Gentry. He saw that a mile away and made them pay for it. Beefy goes in for his second of the day. Yeah, that's that's another thing is Calvin when he came to when he came to Arkansas State, I remember he was working with the centers. He's a he's a big guy, he's he's really fast. Um, and I was speaking to Blake White, and you know he's like, we need a guy like that on the wing, a guy that can really be a, a change of pace, difference maker. Wings are fast, but like you said earlier, not many people are going to want to face Calvin one on one. Oh yeah, tell me about it. And I tell you what, you want to talk about someone that plays with emotion, Calvin Gentry. He, when he can keep it real, then he is on fire. And you Both? saw it there, really laid down the wood. And he was he was kind of on an island. If he makes that tackle and the ball the ball is, gets off to to an offload, you know, or Lindenwood's away. Boast will set up for his second conversion attempt. Ooh, looks like that sailed just right of that right post. That's going to leave it at 12-6. Arkansas State has doubled up Lindenwood, and they will receive the ball. Now, there's got to be... A, Time's got to be getting close to winding down. Yeah, we're wondering first, how much time half. is left. Ball kicked off by LU, gathered in by Pedro, Pedro. Alvarez. Pedro Ooh, and a nice little Scotty. drop. Nice. That was completely blind. That's just what it's that's just having good support. Trust in your, yeah, that's trust just in good your, support. That's Jake right. Jake Gray gives it to Tanner Pope. There quickly to support. Bandoni in there. Barrett to Beefy. Oh, Jake Gray. Out the back now. Arkansas State can really move it. Isaiah Poku gets the ball. Gaining some meters. Let's see if they can just get it down and accept the gain. Uh, he is. Oh, like LU is going to keep him up. up. Uh, 
He's going to be held up. Yeah, it looks like he's held up. Seems like a little bit of a misjudgment there bit on bit. ASU. Probably should have committed to that mall, possibly gotten the ball out. Did look like the knee was pretty close to getting down, but the sir didn't think so. Our camera, our camera guy got a great shot of that. I That's don't right. think he actually didn't quite get it down. I there. think he was trying. He get down but the the Lindenwood guy was strong enough to keep him up and that's 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 saying something with uh with the strength that a kid like Isaiah Poku has that's right Lindenwood now will put it into the scrum very evenly pressed scrum a little pop kick over by not sure what number that is 13 I believe Isaiah's got it uh, and the sir is going to come call back. playing the man. Yeah, he did take a little bit of a shot. It didn't look like it was intentional. Just giving it to him there, yep. Once the ball has left the foot of the offender, you cannot make contact. That was number 12, Connor Burns. Sometimes you can time it and you get there right as he kicks it, maybe just before. Lindenwood, cho Lindenwood chooses to go with the scrum. Scrum down. <laughs> Some of the A State faithful uh, to our left are getting a little bit into the refs here. The crouch call. Bind. And now we're set. Ball goes in. Just scrum turning a little bit. Felton, Lavardis. Get out there, John Scotty. John with, Scotty ooh, makes the tackle, but a little bit high it. on that tackle needs to wrap and up better. Lindenwood gets in. That is number 11. That'll be Sam Chapman. Oh, looks with like Lindenwood's just first try of the game. Wanted a little bit more there. <laughs> You'd like to see John Scotty get a little bit lower on that hit, but doing the best he could out there. Yeah, Lindenwood did a good job off of that scrum, uh, get, really getting the ball out the back. It was it was a two-on-two -two situation. Scotty just just happened to miss the tackle, but uh, depending on this conversion, we'll see we'll see if we'll see uh, which team has the advantage. Looks like he's got a little bit of wind going from right to left on our view. This will be an impressive conversion if he slots it here. Looks like he's about five meters off the touch line. Touch line? Excuse me. Williams now in front of us. The wind's died a little bit. Takes one last look. Ooh. Kick is up, but it's not it's short. Gonna be short. Short left, and ASU did rush that kick. In rugby, you have the option to rush and try and block a conversion upon the first movement of the kicker. It looked like Izzy was about to get there. However, it sailed just over his fingers, but didn't really matter. Arkansas State still has a one-point lead, getting close to the half. 12-11 ASU. Boast giving some direction. Figure out where he's going to put this ball. See what, this cold is, uh, I do wish I was up moving around a little bit more. Oh, gathered and kicked back. Kicked by Ani Matato. Yes, now that ball did go directly out into touch, and I know earlier I did explain that normally the lineout does go back to the kick. However, when the ball is initially gathered within the last 20 meters, uh, I guess your own 20 meters, and kick directly out, there's a little bit of a grace given there, and the lineout does occur where the ball went out. So Patrick Marr will put the, put the ball in now. Up and taken by Asa. If it's over the back, and the sir calls not straight. Not straight. Yes, on those lineups, you have to throw the ball directly down the middle of the channel, making it equally contestable by both sides. Looks like it 
might have strayed a little bit to the left there, our left. Uh, and the even, wind can really affect that sometimes. Yeah, even with the wind, it's uh, it is you do have to make sure that yep. you get both. That's true. <laughs> Scrum now to Lindenwood. Ball goes in, but it's stolen by oh, Arkansas like State. By I say, Jake Ray. Jake, but Jake looking to had see no where idea. the ball comes out had no idea. That just popped directly under his feet. Is that a A State gets that penalty? It looks like someone not released. I don't know I if it was playing it on the ground, possibly. Not sure what the call is, but either way, Arkansas State will get the ball and. And you know, that really just is a testament to LU's strength of their pack. Jake Ray was fully expecting the ball to just head on through back to the eight man of LU. And uh, it was stolen there by the, by the hooker, Patrick Moore. Yeah, had a little bit of a surprise there under his feet. A State able to recoup. They'll get another chance at this lineup. Ball is up. And here it comes. And Asa gets in there, slaps it. Asa back. Ba it looks like Doni grabs a hold of it. A Arkansas little bit State of an now sets there. up. Beefy Ooh. takes a big hit, but the ball does well go backwards. Well read by LU there. Boast to Zach Young, to Val Blonde. Blonde makes a couple or Good. gets through a couple tackles. Calvin's there on the support. Barrett to Jake Ray. Jake Ray runs straight into the face of a couple Linwood defenders. And looks like we'll come back. Service playing advantage. Into the side, I believe. <laughs> and Beefy will put it out again. Arkansas State. The last couple lineouts, they've not possessed them well. Uh, we'll see if Patrick Mark can get his throws online now. Like we said, 12-11, Arkansas State. Got to be getting close to the closing minutes of this first half. Ball's up. Jake Gray taking it. That's clean. That's to about Keegan. the cleanest line out we've seen today. Boast to Beefy. Oh, really John moving Scotty the ball well. To Val Belande. Val puts a little grubber kick through. Calvin chases, but it just sneaks out. Val overcooked it just a touch. No. And again, it's only the first half of their spring season here, so a little bit of rust to get off there, probably some timing issues. That'll only get better as, as this match goes on, but also as the season goes on. I've seen some of the A-State subs, you know, knocking the cold off, getting a little bit of a run, keeping the blood flowing. That way, if they're, if they're able to come in whenever asked. Nice take there by the four of Lindenwood. That's Marna Spangenberg. Lindenwood setting up. I'm expecting a box kick, and there it is. Oh, this is high ball. Be a close one. Calvin takes it. No jump. Nice tackle there by a couple of Lindenwood Lions. Keegan doing a great job of nice getting that ball run out. Nice there by moving. Jake Ray. Yeah. Takes the shoulder. But Lindenwood is over the ball quickly and nice. It was a nice badger attempt there and it was stolen. Yeah. Felton. <coughs> Someone's got to make a tackle here. That Steven McLeish now carrying. Gets a couple meters. Oh, there Still we go. Look speed. at that. Stolen by Calvin. Stolen there by Calvin. He runs right into a couple Lions. He's down. Set that ruck. Keegan going out the back to Dylan Boast. And Boast will decide to carry it. He's going. And Look he, at that. Saw the hole. Makes Let's see if he's minutes. got the support. People can get reset on him. There we go. Good seal. And not Evenly matched, three on three. Jake Ray, no arms Good in that contact. tackle. I'm, I'm really surprised that the third didn't play advantage. Uh, look at Jake powering through here. Takes a State's got a lot of great strong runners there in that pack. Zach Young. <laughs> and runs through and takes four men. Arkansas State, they're that's right. They're having three or four men having to bring them down. That's right. Zach Young says, you through. think that pack's strong. Check out our backs, bruv. Val and Scotty together. Tackle is made. LU really working to try and keep those held up calls going, but A-State doing a good Isaiah job Boku. of getting down. Heads backwards. Zach Young, the All-American. 
Gets it nice. That was a nice, uh, nice ruck attempt there by. It was a nice ruck by. Oh, Val. Val, yeah, it Val. Val. It was and 15 the coming in. Sides to get, he calls a high tackle. Let's see what A State chooses to do here. You know you've got a pretty decent 15 when they're not afraid to come in and mix it up a little bit in those rucks. Kick for distance, kick for touch. Boy, tell you what, in the, in the sun, it is nice when that wind stops blowing. Yeah, my toes are freezing though, Denton. Should have worn two pairs of socks. Uh, it's not all gravy out here, I tell you what. <laughs> Has not warmed up any. Patrick gets ready. Mar puts the green, put the line out throw in. It's up. Taken by Jake Gray. And Arkansas Good job State by Jake. looks like they'll set up a mall. Yeah. Let's see how they can push this through. Getting a little bit of movement. There they go. All right, let's see what they can do with it. Barrett out the back to boast. Boast to Beefy. There we go. Beefy to John Scotty. Mm. Scotty uses a little step, gets gets through. Maybe Barrett, would have liked the ball Beefy. keep going there. To Boast to Calvin. Makes a man. Calvin, miss. he's gonna run two contact instead of away from it. And I have yet to seen Cal see Calvin taken down one to one today. And it looks like the man who attempted to tackle Calvin is down. That's the 13 for Lindenwood. That's Matado. Lindenwood goes ahead and puts it through. Ooh. Val got caught in a bit of a no man's land, but was able to escape and get the ball, and he'll kick it back. But that ball does stay in. It's Connor Burns now with it. And nobody really able to make contact there. Burns offloads. Can't quite see the number. Lindenwood setting up an attack now. Big hit there by Asa Carter on Alec McDonald. Lindenwood setting up. A little backside ball to the 15, Evan Williams. Felton back up to the right. Skip ball from Lavardis. Little grubber kick through. Gathered it out. And like the ball went out. Sir's going to call kick, half on that. And that is the first end of the first half, Alex. So Arkansas State takes a one point advantage into halftime. We're going to take a break, warm up. We'll have a little bit of first half first half analysis when we come back. Stay with us. Second half coming up next.
All right, and we are back. Arkansas State leads 12 to 11. Lindenwood received the first half kickoff, so they will be putting the second half kickoff up. Yes, and a big shout out to all of our <laughs> fans watching and following the game, especially overseas. Davis Strobel, we miss you, brother. We had big shout out from Jay Bug. According to our our advisor, we had almost 200 viewers as of 145, so we really appreciate it. Arkansas State receives the first half kickoff. Barrett, big run by nice running, Izzy. by Isaiah Poku. Izzy, not afraid to take on a couple defenders. Both gets a good kick in the air. Lots of chase. Felton takes it, swings it out to good Will White. Read nice again tackle by there Calvin. by Calvin Gentry, and he. That's good for Calvin. Yes, Calvin is being on point Because today. once Calvin gets a couple hits, gets yeah. a couple carries, he yeah. is ready to roll. He really feeds off and the Arkansas action. Arkansas State, with that big tackle, was able to turn the ball over. Niamana Rebu puts the ball out, mm. and it does Ooh. not quite get Barely there. stayed in there. Evan Williams. Big boot back. You know, he's not a... Evan Williams is, doesn't look Bradley like a Keegan. very big guy, but he does have a boot on him. Keegan to Pope. Look at Pope. Rumbling, Pope. bumbling, stumbling <laughs> Tanner Pope. Like I said, I was at practice a couple of, no, unlucky there. Got I a was, hand on Keegan there. I was at practice the last couple of weeks and watched Pope run over the one of the freshmen. Kind of said, hey, welcome to rugby. Lennon Wood doing a good job with the recycle. That's big number Michael or big number six Michael Duvall out to the out wide. Are they get him out. Look at him dragging out. Oh, John Scotty trying Scottie to drag, tried the to drag him out. out. Duvall again Didn't gets quite chopped get down. Ooh, oh, knocked on unlucky there. there. Scooped up, moved wide. If they get it out, it's over. Oh, oh. But the sir called a double and knock. And the sir. Was dropped once, didn't see the second, but Sir calls a double knock. That's right. Some of the A-State faithful really wishing that he would have played advantage there. Uh, there was a there was a big, mm -hmm. big overlap for the A-State offense. Looks like Lindenwood looked out a little bit there. Lindenwood now with the ball. <coughs> Put in. Now in a double knock, the ball goes to the team that committed the second offense, not the first. That's right. Beefy running. Tanner Pope runs through. I'm telling you, it takes three or four of these Lindenwood Lion defenders to bring down one of Arkansas State runners. Yeah, you really like to see that. Only if you've got support, though, and, and A-State really does a good job of making sure they stick with those guys there. You don't want someone who's going to bust through the line and be off on their own. Some Very the easy to take the ball after a, a tackle there, no some, ruck. Some of the Lindenwood faithful are a little upset. Looks like there was a penalty call. I'm not sure what it was. Yeah, you know, Lindenwood, they really travel well as far as fans go. Got about a four-hour drive from here up there to St. Louis, and they've got some pretty loyal fans. Beefy puts the ball just out of your reach over here. Yeah, right over my head. Off one of the cars back here. Hopefully everybody's got insurance. <laughs> Get protected from mayhem like flying rugby balls. Let's see if these guys have made any adjustments since halftime. The, clean up there, has been, there has been a couple substitutions, looks like, on the Arkansas State pack. Looks like Tino Sasanure is in. Not sure where he came in at. You mm. say it's that is Tino, and a, another All-American has checked in for Arkansas State. Uh, Tabu Marie. Mar, it was oh, a good contested tip by LU there. Gathered Arkansas in by State Arkansas pack State, yeah. Quickly over. Tanner Pope runs through a couple. You can really tell he hits hard when that yeah. head snaps back. And he the does a really great job of coming at the line from distance to get that speed. Bose makes a man miss. Again, three Lindenwood Lions it takes to bring him down. You can hear the cold, I think, in Alex and I's voice now. Oh. It's really starting to set in. Yeah. Beefy gets a good carry. Barrett back out to the left. Jake Ray. There we go, Jake. She's a hole. 
gets a couple meters. Linwood's really, instead of going for the tackle, they're really going for the hold up. They are. And, you know, at some point, really, you just need to start digging in, making these tackles, and hopefully trying to Nice, Tabu Marie, nice spin move. He's through, oh, Look at that pass. Offload to the All-American. Tabu Marie. All-American to All-American. Tabu to Zach, try time, Red Wall. Good team play, good support. Tabu Marie coming in, wasting no time making a statement. It's going to be 17-11. And before could, the conversion. And you could tell as soon as Tabu hit that spin, he had the offload. You could see it in his face. He was smiling before he let that ball go. He knew it was a try. <laughs> he did. Those feel so good when you just see it wide open. You let it go. All you're waiting for is Zach Young to pick that up, and that's a set of sure hands if I've ever seen any Zach Young. Now, he's not going to drop very many Now, balls. a lot of coaches will, you know, you've got a kid that was a, a second-team All-American um, with, with, with the USA team. Um, a lot of people don't, wouldn't bring them in in the second half. Uh, what, do, what do you think Blake's reasoning is for bringing a guy like Tabu in in the second oh, half? Oh, you know, and it really goes back to that big freshman class that we talked about, that big recruiting class. We've got a lot of skills, those young players. Both now for the conversion. You've really got a lot of skill with those young nice players, so you know. Ah, uh, does not quite get the conversion to fall. Uh, should be 17-11. 17-11. In the first half, now we missed one. Yes. Kick off was kick off was taken by. Kickoff was taken by Tabu. He was played in the air. Usually that's going to be a penalty, but big boot by Beefy. Flips the field for the Red Wolves. Williams now to Will White. Sorry, Wesley White, excuse me. And actually, Beefy came down the field and got into that tackle there. That's good activity. I was talking about in the critical positions. I don't think we mentioned, but number nine, Keegan Barrett is a freshman. Uh, he, he and Beefy came from... Uh, from Zimbabwe. Beefy's from Harare, and I think. Oh, oh big hit! Great. By Tanner Pope. Great defensive you can see reads that today. Coming a mile away. ASU's but, just got their timing down. And but Keegan, Lindenwood is on the, on the, on the roll out there. That's. The ball's going to go into touch. And again, touching back on the subject of freshmen before we had a little bit of a mix up on the score. Uh, when you've got trust that your freshman can come in and keep the level of play, keep the standard up, and keep a very competitive squad on the field without needing all of your senior experience, it really does open up a lot of possibilities for that second half, uh, especially when you can bring in um, some more experience and make some better decisions there when it gets close here in the second half. And, and you know, Blake, Blake White, Coach Blake White's done an amazing job of recruiting and bringing in people and bringing in talent. And it's really opened up what he can do with this squad. Um, and you know, you only expect these guys to get better. So it's really gonna be interesting and really fun to watch this group of kids come through and see how they develop as a squad. There was a, uh, a penalty. Um, one, of our, one of our associate producers was coming over here to check our, our camera work. But our, both of our camera operators doing a great job, no matter how cold they are. Hell, you with them all here. Hey, State slowing it down fairly well. Looks like Pedro Alves is getting in there. He's right in the middle, really trying to drag guys out of there. Hell, you's going to use out it. Out the back. Potato carries. Out the back to Duvall. But Duvall is turned over, and Arkansas has a chance that now. cold weather. Zach Young puts it through. John Scotty, Isaiah Poku. Oh, Isaiah Poku, and John Scotty. John Scotty's going to be in there. Nice, nice block, block by, by John, John Scotty. Ball goes through the it back of the right tri right zone. out the back of the tri That's zone. Right. That was a full layout by John Scotty. Talk about Very hustle. Very great Talk effort. Talk about hustle. believe that should be a, it was blocked, should be a 22 meter. Sarah's going to come to the side, Judge. They're going to talk about it. Touch judge, excuse me. Pedro trying to 
trying to use maybe his get a word in there. Yeah, trying <laughs> to sway sway the mind of the sir. I don't know that it's a decision that's being made. I think they're just trying to find out what needs to be done. Let's kick LU. Looks like they're going to get an option for a scrummer to kick. I believe they're, they're going to go with the, gonna go kick. the kick. Yeah. That, that was a really good job. You want to make sure, even if it slows the game down a little bit, you want to make sure as, a, as an official you get the call right. Mm -hmm. So it was a good job from by Yeah, and a, a game like this, you know, they're only separated by six points. Uh, you got the number three team trailing the number nine team here. You definitely want to make sure that you don't take the ball out of the player's hands. Kick is up. Belande will take it. No, sorry. Barrett will take it. <coughs> Excuse me. Barrett. Makes a couple men miss. Scrummy is in, so somebody's going to step up and take the role of the scrum half for a little bit. Looks like it's Pedro Alvarez. Pedro dishes to Bandoni, who's covered quickly by a couple of Red Wolves. Barrett's back up. Can't see number. Was that Looks Bandoni? Like AC's calling for it to bring it back the other way. Little Rose nice cover kick, big oh. hop. That ball's going to stay him, in. That's out on them. That yeah, should that's be an A state. Be that's out on LU. Um, no, he just called the line out to A state, now, I believe. LU trying to do a quick. Now it was a it was line out. Now the ball was going to stay in. Nah, it looked like LU definitely touched it before it went out. We're going to see here. See if I can. No, see it looks like. <laughs> oh yeah, that's going to be. Yeah, there we go. Line out. There we go. Yeah. yeah, that's nice. Clear. That's going to be an obstruction Again, on LU. Just what yeah. We talked about. You know, it was a close call. The serve. Make sure he gets it right. Mm -hmm. Mar puts it up. Nice beautiful, ball. Beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful put right in, in there of by our Patrick. Camera. Yeah. Jake Ray catches it, sets it up. Look at these guys marching on the field, pushing it, pushing it, pushing now, it. There now we're we rolling. There we go. Look at that strength. That's that strength we've been talking about. They're still you going. You don't need a lot of size when you've got strength. The ASU is going to try and Ball put it in. Ball finally collapses. Mm. Then let's see what Barrett can do with They've it. They've got numbers on the left here. Oh, uh, the Sir is going to go ahead and give it to ASU here. Uh, not quite sure what that call was. I couldn't that, see it. Is that a collapsing the mall call? Uh, not that I... Tap and go. Tanner Pope, Tanner Pope big Pope run. It himself, and it looks like it he down. got That's in a try. from here. That's a try. That's a try. Ooh. Oh, he was called held up. Held up, says the sir. And the word of the sir is law. Look, not going to argue with that. Just going to regroup right here and try and put it in, guys. We'll look and see if we can see one on, on the replay. That looks like to me he got it down, but you know, like you said, Alex. Yeah, the that's word it. Of the law yeah, is sir. you know, the word sometimes of the sir is if law. he doesn't have the vantage point, it just doesn't go your way, but. It's just going to be that much sweeter when they put it in here. Going to be able to eat a little bit more time off the clock. And looks like Arkansas State is making a substitution. Can't let these things get you out. Excuse me. Uh, it'll be a Dale. change in eight, man. It'll be... Don't wanna, don't, I don't want Dale's mom to yell at me. See, <laughs> see if I can get his number right, or his last name right. Dale Hart, Hartman yeah. checks into the game. Glad you checked that one. You, you never know with, with, these, with these guys. You never know. You've got a Hartman, then you've got a Nia Ama Revu. So really both ends of the spectrum here. Dale coming in at eight, man. Fresh legs. Looks like we're about 16 minutes into the second half. Again, no official clock up. It's going to be what's on the watch of the Sir. Ball comes out quickly to Barrett. Ooh, Ooh that, that is, looks like that's going to be offside. That's an intentional yep. knock. Yep. That's an intentional knock. There we go. There we go. Yellow card, sir. Sent to sir. the bin, number seven. And that's got to hurt. You really Aiden don't want to be a man down right now in this situation. ASU is up six points, knocking on your door. They smell blood. They're going for the kill here. You never want to. You never want to be 14 on 15, especially not inside your own 22, mm -mm. Mm -mm. because Arkansas State's going to set this up, run their big men, and if it was a back, it wouldn't be such a big deal but since it is an, a, a crucial part of the pack. And we've got a, a little bit of a conference going on here. I don't know if he was begging for uh Arkansas State. The whole pack sets up. Big Tanner run by Pope Tanner Pope. He gets through one. Denied. That's a try. <laughs> he is That's in. A try. He didn't get the first one, but he gets the second one. That's try right. time, That's right. Red Wolves. That's right. Tanner Pope. 
was denied earlier, but he would not be denied this time. Spins off a tackle, gets in for five more for the Red Wolves. It's gonna be 22-11 before the conversion here. Let's see if Bose can put it through. Now, Alex, explain to people, once there is a yellow card, is it the next point scored or the full time when they can come back in? No, I, I do believe it's the full time. You know, yes, sir. Yes, sir. 22 11. Was a guy. He played for A State, and I believe he left and went home. Maybe took a little bit of a break and came. Who was that, Tanner? Tanner. Uh, yeah, he actually, I believe, he traveled overseas. He was in Germany for a little while. Uh, so he was able, you know, he mm -hmm. he left and you know decided to come back, and and he's a big part of that Arkansas State pack. Yeah. Both now going for the conversion. Like the, it was a no, little early on a the lead, wide right. but oh, just short. A little short, no conversion, but it is 22-11. Arkansas State has doubled up the Lions again. Don't want to see them let up at all. Like no, again, it, against a team like uh, LU, you know that 11, 11 point lead can swing really fast in the game. If you're on, if you're on the Arkansas State sideline, you want to get another try. Mm -hmm. You don't want to. Let Lindenwood get back into this game. No, got to keep the foot on the gas. That's right. Zach Young takes the kick. Pops another one over. Good kick. He's got a lot of chaser. Beefy yeah, doesn't look like wing. he ever gets tired chasing again. Big hit by Good Calvin. Niamna Rebu gets over, but he's blown off the ruck. Oh, you really look Lindenwood has made some substitutions as well. Look at this. Driving him back. Lines have made some, like I said, some substitutions into their pack. As has ASU. I couldn't see who that was with Dale there. Oh, it was Tabu. Oh, this Kick ball didn't go very far. I don't think it's going to make it out. They're both in the air competing for the ball. And looks like 14's looking for an Oscar here, maybe. Yeah. It looks like no, there was a hit in the air. It was, yeah, it was unintentional. Both, um, going both guys ball. going for yeah. the ball. Yeah. And he's going to... And it is a knock on Lindenwood. Arkansas ASU State will faithful here giving Arkansas 14 State a hard will time. take. I love it. Arkansas love State it. will take the take the line out. Excuse me, a scrum. It was a knock on by number 14 <laughs> there, Sam Chapman. Now the rule is you can't strike another player in the air. However, that was an evenly contested ball. Both going after Sorry, that. That was 14. Clean. Christian Rodriguez. That was clean. Yeah, but if if you play the man in the air, it is a penalty. Mm -hmm. But you know they both went for both the ball. Ball, that's right, that's right. Hey, you're ball doing a quickly good job through the back. John Scotty again. John He's Scottie. gonna run through. Good run from John Scotty. Doesn't look like LU was trying to release the ball there. It's okay, got it out. Tabu Marie is gonna drive a couple a couple lines with him. Dale Hartman Dale coming with pace. That's what you like to see. That's what you want to see. Arkansas State's covering the covering the rucks quickly now. There's, there's Tino. Tino Monsasonore. Looks like a knock was called. Knock on Arkansas State, so it'll be LU ball. And you can't discredit LU really playing strong, really making some hard hits, but things just not getting they, looking for them today. The ball has seemed to bounce Arkansas State's way. We'll yes. However, ASU has done a great job of capitalizing on those as well as just making plays happen. I mean, that play earlier from Tabu and Zach, that was just real great teamwork. Ball goes in. A-State not making it easy for the LU pack. Lavardis gives it to Mateo. That ball's Puts up. the ball up. Looks like Christian's going to be competing for it again. Val Belande, big hit Val by Val. Ball. Arkansas State drives over. Hands uh, in the ruck by Scotty. Yeah, John Scotty going to get called for hands in the ruck. Yeah. We've got some, Looks some fans being, like the About 22 the minutes. Score. 22 minutes the into the second half. The ball out. <laughs> yeah, you can't, once the, once the ruck is formed, if you have your hands on the ball, you have to release it unless mm -hmm. you completely clear the ruck. That's right. Didn't look like Arkansas State was able to do that. 
yeah, just a little bit sloppy. What you would have liked to see was John Scotty get underneath that LU player and drive him back just a bit more before getting his hands on the ball. Lindenwood is, looks like he's made a substitution. I don't believe that was straight. Let's see if I can find the name. Um, Caleb O'Donohue. Now, O'Donohue made a, a, lot, a couple big plays last week against Texas, reading the press release from Lindenwood. Um, let's see if we can get the, all the substitutions in. We have O'Donohue is checked in. We have Emmanuel Albert has checked in at second row. Looks like Brock Roper is going to come in as well match for A-State. Colton Hernandez is in. And man, Emmanuel Albert, Liam Smith has also checked into the game. So a lot of changes being made in the pack. Not many in the backs that I've seen besides the one change for A-State, which is Brock Roper coming in for Keegan Barrett. And Brock's got some experience, definitely got some skill as well. We'll have to see how well he keeps up the level of play here. I'd imagine it's not going to change too much. Roper actually came to school playing fly half. He settled into his more natural position, which I believe is nine. Mm -hmm. Arkansas State gets out the back. Moving the ball well. Calvin makes a couple men miss. Gets some separation, throws a fend, runs through another one. Ar see if Ar A State can cover. Good meters gain there by Calvin. Let's see if A State can get it back across the field. Brock's, Brock's going to take, take it himself. himself. Yeah. Great minds think alike. Mm -hmm. Maybe we're just watching the same game. Maybe we think? are watching the same game. <laughs> don't just, you know, don't get discredited. This, yeah. is our, this is our first time calling a game, so go ahead and apologize to anybody if you're saying <laughs> names wrong or not explaining things very well. It was a penalty on Arkansas State. I believe it was for a high tackle on Brock. Roper is New Zealand by way of Florida. A lot of these guys are are international and moved to the states when they were little, uh, when they were younger, mm. and then you know made it made it eventually here. Oh, you getting a substitution here, maybe? Let's see if I can get a number. I can't see. Uh, that's the I believe that is the is that penalized seven? player. Oh. Yes. Oh, there we go. Man coming in from the sin bin there. That is Aiden Hurst, yeah, coming in from the bin. Going to be 15 on 15 again, all, all even. Arkansas State sub warming up on the sideline. Looks like number 16, George Sharp. Ball comes out of the scrum for Arkansas State to Boast. Boast leaves it for Zach Young. Zach runs through a couple. Looks like they were trying to run a line behind Boast there. Boast Timing again. a little off. Gives it to Calvin. Calvin Good has a bit of a Calvin. mishandle, but carrying it. CeeLo running. Brock spins it out now to Zach Young. Zach to Mar or Tabu Murray to Tino. Tino offloads to, to Tanner ben. Pope. Tanner Pope, Pope runs Tanner through Pope another. Tanner may get his, his second of the game. He's dragged down eventually. Nice meters gained. Oh, man comes across. <laughs> Probably going to be in from the side. Yeah, Tanner gained, you know, about 20 meters. Look at that. Run. And Tanner Pope does it again, but it doesn't look like the Sir is going to give it to them. Tried a cheeky tap and go. Would have gotten it as well. Tanner gained about 20 meters on that run and ran over, ran over a couple guys. Tanner goes low, gets tries to get another one. All right. Not going to quite get it. Arkansas State has to recycle. They can get the ball out wide. They do have numbers out here. Let's see if they're trying, trying to draw the defense in. Okay, State goes again. One more time. It's close. Tell you what, they may not need to get it out of their backs. If All kinds Tino of running in. in there. Tino gets down. across Tino the line and he try. gets in. Try time, Red Wolves. Try time, Tino Sasanore. That's going to bring our score to 27-11 ASU. Conversion coming and that's going to be a little bit e easier conversion. Closer to the sticks. Mm -hmm. I fully expect it to be 29-11 here and LU is really going to need to get something going here about 25 minutes into the second half. You know, after the end of the first half, we had two back score. Um, now we've had Tanner Pope score. We've had Tino score. You know, so Arkansas State went went to the backs early, and they're really relying on their forward pack to, to bring this game home. Yeah, well, if, it's, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? I mean, you see these guys, they're continually gaining meters. 
five, seven, ten meters at a time, and you're just going to just keep rolling on down the field. Boast for the conversion. Puts it up, and that conversion is good. There we go. Tech on 29-11. 29-11. 11-ASU. Arkansas State really starting to get their starting to get their <laughs> offense churning now. A little little over a three try lead here, 18 point lead. You know they actually didn't fare as well with the man in the, in the bin um, when he came back. Uh, yeah, tw that's 22 in right now. LU puts the ball up, it's taken by Pedro. LU trying to hold him up, Pedro does a great job of getting down there. With a game like this, we do have to watch is for any any cheekiness, any... Yeah, any, this is yeah, this is about the time of the game when it gets... Any unnecessary you know, extracurricular activities. That's true. Tabu runs again, oh, nice off, leaves it for... It. I believe that was, he left it for Tino, but Tino was just not quite there. <laughs> That, that was looking like it was going to be set up pretty nice for a nice run down the touch line there. My right foot's falling to her. Getting a little cold. Falling asleep a little bit. I don't think anybody cares. They don't. Lindenwood now with the line out throw. Good front ball. They'll set up a mall. Driving Arkansas State, slowing it down nicely. But Lindenwood is a little bit of a drive here. Ball comes out the side. Lindenwood players calling for it quickly out to the out wide. Big hit there by Pedro. <laughs> Lindenwood driving about five meters out. Looks like Sir is calling advantage. Did he call advantage there for something? Nope. He's going to call a penalty. That's Lindenwood's ball. They take a quick tap, but uh, Sir isn't allowing it. I tell you what, if A-State can make a defensive stop here, that's really, I would say, going to be kind of tough for LU to overcome. You really hate to see this happen when you're down by this much. There has been some more substitutions made on the Lindenwood side. It's going to be a scrum down to Lindenwood there. Tyron al Jabouri checks in. Now, Al Javori's older brother is actually one of the wings for the USA Eagles 15 side playing in the America's Cup. Yeah, Lyndon would have. Looks like Pedro may have been sent off. I'm glad I wasn't the only one smelling that. I didn't see that. I'm not sure what the penalty was, but Pedro is jogging off. Arkansas State now now down a man in the scrum. Ball goes in. Oh, you spins it out. Al Jabouri taken down hard there by Calvin. Calvin gets up and covers. Ah, he's going to bring it back again. Oh, you going for the Go quick, quick tap. tap. Oh, on the mark. Did he let it go? Looks like the sir let the second quick tap go. He was and held up, but he does get in. LU gets in. It is a try to Lindenwood. Yeah, first, like their it. first try of the game. Sorry, sorry second, second try, try of the game. It's going to bring them up to 16. With a tough conversion from this angle over here. It looks like the wind's going to be coming into the kicker's face. Yeah, Arkansas State just did not do as well as they did when they were on this end of, of getting those goal line stands. There was a, a lot of a lot of missed tackles, uh, just unable to unable to hold Lindenwood. Williams will attempt to convert now. Kick is no good. Isaiah Poku again getting close on that charge. But again, not really making a difference as it didn't have enough distance there. It's going to be 29-16, ASU leading here Looks against the receiving again. number three. Looks like A-State has made another substitution. Roman Merlot 
checks in. <laughs> Boast will put the kick in. Ball goes up. Felton receives it, kicks it, and that ball may go out. Kept in by uh, Dale knocks it on. Unfortunate. Looks like LU's got a cramp issue back here. I believe that is their scrum half, Richard Felton. Just under 10 minutes left in this second half. LU trails A State by 11. 13. It's 29 16. 13, sorry. Yeah. Math was not my strong subject. Our state, a state made another sub that's number 17. Number nine, getting checked out by the trainer, standing up. You know, these cramps, they don't go away. They might go away for a couple moments here. Not real sure how long he'll be able to make it last. Forgive me if I haven't pronounced this wrong. Ige. Paul Ige checks into the game. Felton putting the ball in now for Lindenwood. Ball comes out quickly. Oh, one, now won that real quick. Navardis to Burns. Out the back to Al Jabori. Jabori has some, has some wheels. So wrapped up and taken down by, by Calvin. Calvin. A State really needing to close this game out right here. They can't Big let the intensity hit there. drop. I believe that was Isaiah Poku getting the hit. It was Poku and Merlot combining on that. Arkansas State bringing it out now. Big fend. Good, good. Big job. fend there by Michael Duvall. Ball Tried to out offload, the back. no look. Al Jabori is going to be wrapped up quickly. Arkansas State could get over it. Chose to let it go. Yeah, Arkansas State right now, they just need to play solid defense. They need to make their tackles. They need to keep the ball slow so that they can finish this game out. Make Another LU make a hit. Yeah, that's right. Make LU make a mistake. Kick through there by Lavardis. Nobody's home for Lindenwood chasing. Belande, big hit, lowers his shoulder. Very impressive there by, by Val. Not really known as a as one who will Really brings some pop, but he's not afraid to lower his shoulder every now and then. Bandoni runs into the face of a couple defenders. Let's see if Red Wolves can get it out wide here. It looks like Rock the backs recycling. are calling for it. Tino is a bit of a loose ball. Sorry, that's beefy. Excuse me. Recycling now to Boast. Boast running through. Loses a couple men, but is stuck there by a Lindenwood oh, defender. Oh, good clear by Tabo Marie there. BB's going to kick it, it and put it out. Over the back of this 15. Oh, it does a great job of getting back. Let's see if he's going to kick it. Oh, he wants to take it. Oh, definitely. LeVar, Looks like a couple. That's Evan Williams, but he is snagged and ripped out by yeah. Tabu Marie. Once, once Tabu gets his hand, once Tabu gets his hands on you, it's going to be hard to uh, be hard to get loose. <laughs> Bit of some extracurricular activity yeah, there. Right around five minutes left in the second half by my clock. Again, the official time is going to be on the Sir's watch, so we'll see. But it's getting down to the nitty gritty here. Brock gets that. George is a, John the, new, the new hooker. Puts the ball in. Brock recycling Brock's out to get the it right. Out quick. Bosch is going to put his boot on it. Williams He's is sitting the there, chase. sitting up waiting. Williams puts a high ball up. See if anybody is there is chasing. We gathered in by Boast. Boast takes it nice and is wrapped around. up quickly. ASU holding on to this 13 point lead, 29 16. Roper gives it to Calvin. Gentry. Gentry driving. Arkansas State has, has an overlap if they can get the ball out quickly. Lindenwood sees it and gets men over there. There we go. They want to keep kicking it. They're going to keep, keep them, pinning them down here, pinning them down on their end of the field. Niyama Revu puts the ball in. Probably going to touch this down. He does. Yeah, once the ball goes into the tri-zone, you can dot it down. 
Bring it out for a 22 meter drop. 22 meter drop. Let's see what he tries to do here. He said less than five minutes remaining in this There's game. A Ten for Lindenwood to take this kick. Drop. Oh, nice job, Scotty. Scotty, Scotty gets that ball, keeps it in. Dale Scotty misses Burns. The ruck. Oh, from the side, sir. Looks like it was a Looks bit like from the, the ball side, was but clear. no, ball was clear. That's my mistake. Nice tackle there by Isaiah Poku. It's the new. Now LU does have the ball here. A State not doing terrible though on the field position. Not rolling away is for the call. quick touch. Gonna go for a. <coughs> Sir called not rolling away. Let's see if that'll be all. If he'll decide to send anybody. Yeah. No, I think it's gonna be okay. That instance, again, he was pinned. He tried to get out, but he just couldn't. And at the end of the day, that's going to be not rolling away. Val did a nice job trying to keep the ball in there, just a little bit out of his reach. Now, Lindenwood trails 13. It's, we're getting close to that, that last whistle final play call. Probably right around two minutes left in this match. A-State really needs to shut the door here. A try or a big defensive stand will do the trick. Some of the subs checking in now. If you don't quite have the names on them. A-State is really doing a good job of keeping the pressure up on defense, but Lindenwood is, is outnumbered there on the Connor outside. Burns slips and falls. Evan Williams is dragged by out by Calvin Williams. Calvin Doesn't, Gentry. Calvin Gentry, excuse me. I don't know who Calvin Williams is. A-State gets the ball, turns it over. Bose puts the ball, boot the ball. That's staying in, gathered by the 15. Let's see what he's going to do. Williams now, setting, directing traffic, setting up people to the right. He's got a little bit of a speed. Oh, man. Makes Through a couple a nasty people step move. and That's all right. Good. in the dust. Look at that recovery. Looks like Calvin's going to get that ball. Ooh. Gets cleared off by the LU There's a offense. big tackle there by Isaiah Poku. Really chopping people down. Tabu Marie. Quick hands big there hit. by LU. Another big hit by Beefy. Looks like Isaiah Poku not, not releasing. Wrote, not releasing is the call. Made the tackle. Got to let him go before you get after that. Really, now any eight. second now is going to have the final play called. Now, A-State's doing a good job of any time Lindenwood would get the ball, they would really come up together as a team, not let any offloads, and really chop the, the ball carriers down. We said Arkansas State up 13. Got to be getting close to the end of the end of the game. Lindenwood with a line out. Arkansas State still not in the clear here. LU could very easily score, have the final play, play be kickoff, and then score again. So it's only a it's only a two position that's right. game. That's right. Like I said, ASU really. But Isaiah to shut the Poku is able to steal the line out throw. Arkansas State setting up. Would be surprising if Bose tries to clear this ball as quickly as possible. Ooh, and it's, it looks like it's a, looks like it was chased down. Not sure what the sir called there, but it's going to be LU's it, ball. It was off. Uh, it was off Isaiah Poku. Going to be a quick tap and go. Arkansas State did a good job mm -hmm. chopping down that first attempt. Looks like they're spreading out to their backs, trying to push it in through. And Lindenwood dots it down for a dots try. That's the try. Like you said, A-State not out of the woods yet. They get a try. That's going to make it 29-21. ASU still with 29 the lead. 29-21 with that convert with that try. Conversion is up and it is good. Mm -hmm. Just a one try game now. A State really has to, to buckle down. They have to win, either win this restart or get a quick turnover, possess the ball until the final whistle blows. 29 23. Number. I couldn't see the number. I believe it was one of the forwards that was able to, to link up with a mm -hmm. link up and get the. <coughs> this will be interesting. Try, I wonder how me. much time is left. I'm sure Dylan Bost is asking that exact same question right now.
Kristen. Like we said, Arkansas State ranked number nine. Lindenwood ranked number three. Let's see if they can hold them off and pull the upset here, Denton. Big run there. Big meter carried there by Lindenwood, number 19. Lindenwood swing it out wide. 16 has it. Big hit there by ASU. Get it. They have to cannot let any penalties. They have to get out of the tackles. Tabu, big tackle. Zach Young Slowly. also getting in there. Tabu got to get out of there. Clean tackles. Tino, big hit. Lindenwood swinging out at the backs now. Let's see if A State can get a stop. Lindenwood wing breaking some tackles, getting some meters. Time's got to be getting close. LU's really got some momentum going here. ASU's got to make a stop. Need to make a statement soon. Lindenwood at the back. Lavardis, Williams, nice hands. Throws a dummy pass. Scotty, big hit there. Back to Williams. Can he get him out? Takes and him out. Williams goes into touch. That's huge for Arkansas That's gonna State. That's going to be an ASU put in from there on the line out. That's what you need. Now, A-State needs to, all their players need to make sure that they stay. Got to win this line out. That they stay composed, stay focused, can't let any extracurricular activity happen. Get the ball. Very clean game as far as that goes today, I will only, add. Only two send-offs, one right. with, with Pedro. Pedro is still not checked back in. A-State finishing this game a man down. Merlot was able to get that. Thought he was going to drop it, but he was able to hang on to it. it Both like puts it out. And that will be the game. That's be the match. Arkansas State, State with pulls, the upset. Up the, pulls off the upset 29-23. It's a hard physical game. Both teams hitting both rings, not afraid to hit. This is going to be great momentum for A-State going forward. First match of the spring season against a big game like this. Always a big game. Boys always play up for Lindenwood. Big credit to Lindenwood. They had that surge there at the end. It looked like it was going to come back and be even closer than it was, but ASU just doing what they needed to do to get that game over with, and now it's on next week. Yeah, and the, for anybody that's watching this game for the first time, this Arkansas State will be away next week at Life, the number one ranked team in, in, the, in the country, so not really an easy opening week or opening month of the schedule. Number three and the number one at... <coughs> at Life at University. Life, that's right, traveling down there to Georgia. But like I said, win like this. I mean, these guys are going to be coming off some some good play. Definitely a lot of improvements they could make. I'm sure Blake White's going to have plenty to coach them on and plenty to get them over with, uh, get them over some mistakes. But So for Alex Aguirre, Logan Cook, producer Zach Rupel, I'm Denton Postawait. Thank you for watching the ASU TV stream of Arkansas State Rugby. Again, ASU wins 29 to 23.